Welcome back to Immy's Bridal Series guys. This is a brand new episode and I have got tons of other videos on Bridal Series so make sure you check them out at the end of this video. Today I am dressed in a traditional Hunza bridal dress which is so gorgeous and it's making me so happy and we are going to be doing a hand and foot care routine. This is like one of the best mani pedis that you can do at home and it is super effective. It's all natural, you don't need to use any chemicals and it will give you salon like effects. So I've tried and tested this like over and over again, trying to get the recipe right and about a year ago I shared another tutorial uh, which was actually in Urdu so if you do prefer Urdu you can actually go and watch that. This one however is way better because I've tweaked my recipe and it will also help lighten your knuckles and your toes. So what we're going to be starting off with is a foot and hand soak. This is really important because we want to soften our skin for whatever we're going to be doing next. This is also great because it is going to help us remove our dead skin safely and really easily. To soak my hand and feet, I actually use Epsom salts. The other thing I actually add in my soak are vinegar. Vinegar is important because it will really kill bacteria and I also add half a cup of lemon juice. For your lemon juice you can definitely use store bought lemon juice or if you've got fresh lemons in your garden like me definitely just pop them in. So what I do is I soak my hands and my feet in this warm water and I leave it there for at least 15 minutes. Leaving it there for 15 minutes will actually instantly brighten your hands and feet because the salt is going to be killing all the bacteria, it's going to be removing the dead skin really really gently and now we are ready to scrub. So this is a scrub which I always have in my bathroom. It's got three things inside, rice flour, chickpea flour and oats. I actually crush it all up and make it into a beautiful fine powder but if you've got really really like dark patches, pigmentation, anything like that you can actually leave the rice a little bit coarse. Do it depending on your skin type. So you want to make this scrub and you can leave it in the jar for months and months and it will not go bad. In fact, I have been using this as a face cleanser just to remove dead skin gently. When you are ready to use your scrub, all you need to do is mix it with a little bit of rose water and you can start scrubbing. Now when you are scrubbing, I actually recommend to give yourself some time. Give yourself at least 5 minutes to really get in there and scrub a dub dub. So another thing I love to do is leave that scrub on and it actually doubles up as a really gentle mask. Oats, rice and chickpea flour are perfect for all skin types whether you have dry, oily, combination, whatever it is, this is the perfect mask and scrub. So another thing I love to do is once I do rinse my feet out, I like to use a pumice stone and just really start scrubbing my heels. Now for me personally, my heels are really dry, they get cracked very easily when I don't take care of them and I can see that most of my dry skin is on my heels. So I really focus on my heels, you can even use a foot buffer tool, whatever you have you can use it and you just really have to give yourself time. So now we are going to be applying our Miracle Lightning Mask. Now what this does is it removes pigmentation and that is something that you want to do because if you want an even skin tone or if you've just got tanning, anything like that, you don't want that on your big day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my secret recipe with you guys. So the base of my recipe is papaya. Papaya is so popular in Thailand guys and people actually use it all over their bodies as well. To my papaya, I'm adding some tomatoes. The tomato is actually going to be blended up with the papaya and we're going to get a really smooth paste. So don't worry, just throw it into your blender. Another thing I add is Greek yogurt. So the optional ingredient here is the turmeric and turmeric is optional because some people are scared to use it on their body, they feel like it can stain your skin and if you are a new bride or if you're becoming a bride or even if you're just doing this at home, be very careful of using the turmeric around your nails because it can stain your nails and that is something we do not want close to our big day. So when all my ingredients are in the blender, I just blend it up make it into a beautiful really thin paste and pop it in the fridge it is ready to use 
So if your mixture isn't as thin as you want it, go ahead and add rose water as you like. And I would actually recommend like a thickish consistency because your hands and feet really do need that extra care. So this mask doesn't really dry on the skin because it doesn't have any powdery ingredients. So within the 15 minute mark, you are ready to wash it off. And now we can move on to our nails and moisturizing. So just a tip, if you want to use a natural moisturizer, you can even go ahead and use my rice moisturizer, which is the face moisturizer that I shared in my bridal series. If you do not want to do that, if you don't have that, you can even use fresh aloe vera or any hand and foot cream. So if you are new here and you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe because I post videos every single week. I also have a ton of videos in my bridal series so you can go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye bye.